Hey guys, it's Metro, and today we're going to be covering some of the items that I'll be taking in my pack on the Centennial Trail as well as into the Badlands National Park. With that being said, let's keep moving. All right, so this is my entire gear loadout for the upcoming Centennial Trail out in South Dakota. We're going to be doing a couple nights in the Badlands National Park, and this should be everything that I need. The months that we're going, this is the end of August, the very last week, so this should be sufficient in what I need to bring. So I'm going to go ahead and break it down with what's in my pack starting with the Southwest 2400 Hyperlite Mountain Gear Pack. This is a Dyneema pack and I have put a Nyla Flume, Nyla Flume bag on the inside to make sure I keep everything nice and watertight or waterproof. Over here is the Aegis Max quilt. Uh, this is rated for 32 degrees. I was going to take the get out gear uh, down blanket but this is a little bit more, I would say a little bit warmer for those unpredictable nights especially in the desert. Okay, so over here is the Big Agnes Fly Creek UL1 tent. This is the HV or high volume tent. I've been using this on pretty much all of my hikes when I'm doing longer distances. I have my stakes in a Z-Pax um, uh, tent pole bag and then also the Almonds Right stake bag down below as you see here. Um, in terms of my sleeping pad, I have the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite in a Mont Bell stuff sack and I also take a Trekology pillow and that would be my sleep system between that and the Aegis Max quilt. Down below here is my rain gear setup. This is a North Face Gore-Tex jacket. It's been out for a few years but the reason why I like it, it doesn't have pit zips but it does have some breathable areas where the pockets are at and again this is a very very nice piece of gear in terms of being light but also super water repellent while you're on trail and this is Gore-Tex. Uh, down below here you have the Copperfield Enlightened Equipment wind pants as well as the Enlightened Equipment uh, rain wrap. Over here is the Montbell solar umbrella. It does have a coating on it so when we're out in the exposed areas where there might be more sun this will also serve as sun protection so umbrella and sun protection here. In terms of my water I am using the Vecto water bladder. It looks like I need to clean this one up a little bit before I take it out as well as a collapsible knock um, outdoors collapsible cup. I put my uh, electrolytes or anything I want to add flavor to in this cup instead of sticking in the bottle. Sawyer Squeeze water filtration as you see here this is the uh, original uh, Sawyer Squeeze. Make sure you always soak this before you get on trail just to make sure it's been back flushed and also make sure it's running properly. Um, over here in terms of let's go with the cook system down here below this is the Tokes 550 titanium pot as well as the BRS 3000 stove. I love this. Super ultra light. Very cheap too. Um, I also have the X tumbler from Sea to Summit. This is my cup for coffee. I like it because it has these little ridges on it. It keeps your hand from getting hot. And then uh, this is the Sea to Summit spoon. And then I have a graffiti band to keep all that locked inside of this Tokes 550 pot. Now these are smart water bottles. Self-sufficient but one is a 1.5 liter and then one is a liter. I like to have just that extra liter on trail just in case. Uh, as we move over to my electronics, this is a 10,000 milliamp anchor power bank. I do take an MP3 player for those that don't know what this is. You can store music on it, but the reason why I like it is because I don't have to require internet activity or connectivity to be able to get to my music. Some headphones and I use a multi adapter uh, for my charging so I have the various different hubs here for all my different devices. Um, I do take a bunch of GoPro batteries with me. This is what I'm actually filming on, but I take a couple extra. And this is the Chicken Tramper Ultralight Gear uh, wallet that I keep all that in to keep it waterproof. Uh, in terms of my, I guess my poop kit, this is the Deuce of Spades by Tent Lab. I keep this in a space bags. Uh, poop bag, I guess is what this is. It has little poop emojis on it toilet paper, sanitizer, but I also use a series of different wipes for that as well in terms of my poop kit. Uh, toothbrush, dental floss, various different items I keep in here in terms of my toiletries and things that I might need from Q-tips to uh, tweezers, anti-diarrhea, vitamin I, all those various different things that you need. I keep it all in this pack here. 
Uh, body glide, which is very important. Obviously, this is probably one of the things I would recommend to everyone to take with you, but I don't recommend sharing this because it is a little private. Some people don't have a problem with it, but you're not gonna be sharing this with me or I'm not sharing this with you if we ever do a hike together. A series of different uh, bug repellent. I am using some DEETS from Ben and then uh, various different wipes over here. Uh, and just in case I do go on trail, this is my protection. So in case people try to get a little too friendly, I do have some mace and I also have a little razor here. This is my, I guess my protection per se for anything that might happen on trail. <coughs> so I do take a, a fanny pack. This is the Through Pack Summit Bum. Had this for about three years. This is a great company. Make sure you check them out if you're in the market to get a fanny pack. But one of the reasons why I like it is this extra little area here where you can put your phone in versus having to keep everything in here. This is a nice way to get easy access to your phone. Uh, I am going to be taking a bug net because I heard from Buckley that it is a little buggy out there right now. So I want to make sure I have that just as an extra layer of protection for bug repellent. The Petzl Actic uh, headlamp. This is one of the reasons why I like this so much is one, it has a rechargeable battery, but also comes with a red light. Very key. Uh, this is a mission, uh, I guess towel or so forth. It has this technology that actually cools the water as you put on it. But this is something I'll be taking as a chamois, but also something to use in case I need to cool down, especially when we get near a water source. This is definitely awesome to have. All right, so let's move on to my clothing system over here in terms of what I'll be taking. This is the cool Capoline Patagonia hooded long sleeve shirt. Uh, again, exposure to sun. This is give you protection from the sun, so it's definitely something I like. Kazi Pike pants. This is something for the nighttime to keep make sure I stay warm. The Patagonia baggies short. This is the five inch. These are pretty much on every one of my gear loadouts. I love these shorts more than anything. I have an Under Armour tank top, the Patagonia R1 fleece, and then the Patagonia Nano Puff, and that is a hooded jacket as well. So that is my clothing system. In terms of the shoes, I just got these. These are the Terra Venture 3 by Topos. I love the Terra Venture 2, but this will be my first uh, long distance with these shoes. I've been taking them out for a little bit. They've done well so far. Two pairs of darn tough socks. I have a low top as well as a high top, Appalachian Trail. Love those socks. Thank you three for sending those to me. And then over here, this is a dry fit Hurley cap. This isn't necessarily hiking gear, but it's dry fit. And I've loved this hat because I can wash it and never gets that stain on it. Awesome, awesome hat. And then my black diamond um, alpine cork uh, trekking poles. I've had this for years and years. Those are my go-to trekking poles. And then my food bag. I do have about five pounds of food or so inside this bag, but I'll break down what's in this food bag in a future video. But this is my gear loadout for 2021 on the Centennial Trail, and I can't wait to get out there. 17.5. All right, so this is it. This is how I'm going to be shipping this out to South Dakota. I've got everything inside of this pack. So if I lose this pack, Metro on the Move is officially over. I will quit backpacking. <laughs> Let's keep moving. So if you found any value in this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and send me your comments as I do respond. As always, thanks for watching, but until next time, let's keep moving.